the St. Thomas Aquinas Weekly Update, where we connect you to the parish community as you experience the presence of Christ. Hey, what's up? And welcome to the St. Thomas Aquinas Weekly Update, week of May the 5th. I'm Brandon Barker, joined with Leilani Freitas, Evan Swindle, and Isabel Keith. What's up, everybody? Hey. What's up? Good week. Good week. Man, it's going to be a great week. Yep. Mm -hmm. It is. And it is the week of... May the 5th. We're in May. It's crazy. It's it is, insane. Yeah. It is. And May is the month of May. Mary. Aww. Month of Mary. I was waiting yeah. for the claps. <laughs> month of Mary. Come on. Thought we... Oh, yeah. oh that's a good Even one. better. Yep. There we go. All right. Yeah. We got this soundboard and got to have a little bit of fun with it. Yeah. But that is not our fun fact. But mm -mm. it was better than a what fun fact. What is our fun fact? Right. <laughs> What is Fun it? fact. <laughs> oh. We talked last week about the stained glass windows, which is actually our third time talking about that being the fun fact. And so we are going to talk yeah. about our church um, and the building and all the cool stuff about it, just because the more you get to know about it, the more it just feels like home. And that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's the goal. But random but fun fact is the rose window. So the big, big round rose window at the very... Um, back of the church that is glorious right it mm -hmm. has a lot of pieces of glass if you look up there there's a lot i don't know if you've ever tried to count them or not i did mm -hmm. the other day you did yep. what number did you come up with evan i found I, him sleeping in the church so i, I don't lost think he... <laughs> after 2000 you mm -hmm. stopped counting after 2000 yeah, yeah. It's written up there on the board <laughs> so let's be let's be honest and transparent it's 3000 it's 3,000, so there's over 3,000 individual pieces of glass that make up that rose window. So again, uh, for those... That's awesome. Yeah. What are they called? Artisans? Craftspeople? Craftsmen. All the above? Yeah. That spent their time... Glaciers. 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 Thank Ooh. you. Glaciers. Mm -hmm. So for those glaciers that. out there but that just took the time and energy and effort and used the gifts that God gave them to make something beautiful that we are getting to share and experience and be a part of. I mean, it's one of those, that's what beauty does. Mm -hmm. It transcends space, it transcends mm -hmm. time. And there are people that have given their lives to the arts and things like that so that we can experience beauty in that way. So thank you um, if that is you. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about what's going on at St. Thomas Aquinas. Isabel, what's going on at St. Thomas Aquinas? Well, Monday, May 6th, we have our grief, grief recovery support group. That's going to be in St. Marin's room from 6.30 to, I think, 7.30. Mm -hmm. um, you can find them there. But then we have stuff on Tuesday as well. Yeah. So on Tuesday, we have um, confession, and that's from 9 to 10. Um, but earlier in the day, if you are a, a man at St. Thomas Aquinas, you can join the men of St. Thomas Aquinas and um, just enjoy fellowship and prayer. And that's at 630 a.m. in the St. Marin room. Um, Legion of Mary also meets um, in the St. Jude Library, and that is in the evening beginning at 615. And then Mass is also at 615 p.m. that night. And then right after Mass, we have our final Ponje Lingua night because um, we'll take a break for the summer. Be clear I know. when you say final Ponje Lingua I know. because. No, not, not final ever. You even just, pause. You're like just, final. <laughs> I know. Sorry, I like, guys. I, no. I want to keep everyone on their toes. It'll pick back up in September. <laughs> yes, but yes, yes, yes. We so take it's a break the, for the, summer. the final of the spring semester. And that starts at 7 and goes until 8.30. Um, there's lots of time for praise and worship, some silence. There's confession available um, that evening as well. And it's just time to be in front of the Lord as he's exposed in the Blessed Sacrament. Um, but that's all on Tuesday, but moving on to Wednesday, May 8th, mass will be at 8 a.m. in the church. And then in the evening at 630 grounded meets. And so grounded is just a program where you can, um, if you're in your first four years of marriage, yep. you can join them and they're going through the theology of the body right now. So, wow. yes, that sounds like an amazing time, but on to Thursday, Thursday. It's a busy day here at St. Thomas Aquinas. It mass, um, the men's prayer group starts at 6.30 a.m. Again, mass at 8, confession following. 
that um, evening from five to six, and then young adults meets. I think for our last night of the spring semester, oh. um, in the lower school, we're gonna have a talk from one of our young adults. It'll be awesome. Yeah. That's what's up. Yep. I'm excited for that one. And then also on Friday, um, mass at eight a.m. Daily mass. Mm -hmm. so. Awesome. And then Sunday, May twelfth, is the solemnity of the Ascension of the Lord. <laughs> Wow. The Ascension mm. on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I love that. I feel like it's meant to be. It is. And then we'll have Mass. So our Sunday Masses are 7 30, 9, 11, 1, 5, and then 7 30 again. Totally. So we have lots of options and we hope to see you all there. Mm -hmm. So next Sunday is the Ascension, right? And it kind of sets the timer on preparation for Pentecost. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, Easter season is passing quickly. So again, yep. continue to celebrate and to do that. And what a way to celebrate than to serve, to serve others, to give of yourselves, Amen. right? That's what we're called to do is we're called to be stewards with the gifts that the Lord's given us. And that's financial. That's our time and the gifts that he's given us. And I mean, the backbone of this parish from day one has been um, just the volunteers and those that have served all the different ministries and the organizations to uh, be the hands and the feet of our Lord and be the parish. And that's what we're doing here is we are being the hands and the feet of our Lord. And one of the big ways that uh, parishioners do that is through volunteering with the different ministries. And so instead of highlighting one specific ministry, we're highlighting volunteers and just them being, again, the backbone and the lifeline of all the ministries that we're a part of and here at the parish and are just super grateful and want to ask for those that aren't currently volunteer to start praying and discerning uh, if the Lord's asking you to maybe support a particular ministry, because we know uh, ministries like the uh, the ushers or lectors or family formation that are needing catechists and welcome teams, the youth and young adults are always looking for um, just people to volunteer and we help are, in different yeah, capacities. Yeah. And some of these are one day, 30 minutes, once a month, and then some of them are, you know, several hours each week. And so there's a lot of different ranges of time commitments mm -hmm. and areas to use your gifts and talents to be able to serve others. But, I mean, married ministry, like Next Step, are always looking for mentor couples, or the library um, is looking for 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 volunteers. Yeah, and so, I mean, like, th there's so many different ways yep. to volunteer and plug in. So if you're looking for yeah. a way to serve your parish family and just want to learn more information, just reach out to the parish office directly from the website to one of the, the organizations yeah. and just ask questions and yeah, go from there. If you don't know where exactly to get plugged into, you can always click the contact us button on the website or even call us and we can give you some advice. Totally. Perfect. Totally. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think that, I mean, this next week's a big week. We have Ascension. We also have Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. Yes, don't forget. Right. So that'll be something we talk about this next week. But yeah, I think that that is about the amount of time we have for this version of the weekly update. Week of May the 5th. St. Thomas Aquinas family, remember that we are walking with every person that we encounter to experience the presence of Christ. Remember, we are the hands and the feet of our Lord. And by His grace, we will become saints. So just remember, guys, we're taking this thing one day, one step at a time, and just know that we're praying for you guys, and we ask for your prayers too. So have a great week. Again, Brandon Barker, Leilani Freitas, Evan Swindle, and Isabel Keith coming at you for the St. Thomas Aquinas Weekly Update. Y'all have a great week, and Godspeed. You've been listening to the St. Thomas Aquinas Weekly Update. We hope you've enjoyed the show. We'll be back soon. But in the meantime, reach out to us on Facebook and Instagram at STA Dallas and visit the website at www.stadallas.org.